You're about to meet families who have made huge sacrifices for their kids. They've invested hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars, and in some cases rearranged their entire lives, all for cheerleading. These young athletes are superstars on social media, where legions of fans follow their every move. And now, it's game time. ABC's Bianca Goladriga headed out with them to the competition of their lives. The hair is part of the show. If their hair is not done, it almost looks like a sloppy cheerleader out there, you know? Today, Gabby Butler and her mom, Debbie, need every hair to be perfectly in place. She's hungry, she's tired. Or stressed. Meanwhile, oh, Michael Eddie is terrified he might miss the most important moment of his life. Oh my gosh, it's stressful. The fact that this is my last world intensifies everything. Right now is basically do or die. For Carly Manning, the pressure is almost too much. I wouldn't want to disappoint people by giving up. For these three world-class athletes, thousands of hours of training and countless injuries have all led up to this one day. Welcome to the World Championships of Competitive Cheerleading. Do you believe in you? Yes! Do you believe in us? Yes! We are the best in the world! We are No pom-poms in sight, here the risk is high and the stakes are even higher. At any given moment, something can happen. A single miss can cost the athletes and their families everything they've worked for. I'm a mom who loves her kids above and beyond and I will do whatever they want. Our story begins in this Texas gym, two months before the World Championships where 15-year-old Carly Manning has been training for more than half her life. Let's go, Wildcats! This year, for the first time, she's made it onto the Wildcats. They compete at the most advanced level. Practices are very important, especially here at Tri Athletics. That's where you're trying to earn your spot. We're all just trying to push to be on the team. Her team is hoping that Carly's ability to fly to record-breaking heights like this will help them win back-to-back -back championships. And it's not a bad bet. Up there, those are most of the medals that I've won over the years. Carly's room is decorated with proof of her stellar track record. But for all these wins, this teenager has had to make some sacrifices. Honestly, I haven't watched TV, and I cannot tell you how long. I think it's been like a couple of like years. Very busy years filled with very busy days. Most like this one start at 6 a.m. I usually have about 16 hour days. Bye, Mom. Bye, I love you. Love you too. First school and off to practice. We're going to Chathletics. Basically, this is the only opportunity I have to do homework unless I want to stay up really late when I get home. To make all this possible, she needs a chauffeur. Carly spends probably as much time cheerleading as someone would a full-time job. Carly's mom, Cindy, spends 15 hours on the road every week because of cheer. Several times I have to remind Carly, hey, I'm doing this for you. And with just a week to go before the World Championships, the schedule is about to get way more intense. And so are the practices. When you come in here for the next practices, including if you've got mono, if you had stress, if you have a broken leg and the bone is sticking out the side of your body, you have a smile on your face, and you fake it the entire practice. You can do it. You can do it. Flipping, spinning, throwing girls in the air. That's the dangerous part of cheerleading. I actually broke my right ankle. I've had various hamstring injuries. I want to do it till my body breaks. One, two, three. GTS Yates her mom, however, does believe all this sacrifice serves a purpose. How is practice? She learned so many lessons. She learns how to have a great work ethic, how to fully 100% commit to something, which she does do. Carly is, after all, a straight A student, but Cindy still worries her daughter might be taking this dream too far. It's about 11:20 p.m. now. We're just getting home from athletics. If I had to give up cheer or give up school, I would give up school. Do <laughs> what with your life? I don't know. Like, that makes no sense. I don't know. Well, I want to cheer. Cheer where? True. Okay. 
Competitive cheer is a short-lived career. You can't go pro or win Olympic glory. But surprisingly, Carly has become a celebrity of sorts with almost half a million followers on Instagram. That number to me is definitely mind-blowing. Oh my God! <laughs> I just like Gabby Butler. Gabby Butler is also a cheer celebrity. <laughs> she even has groupies. Oh my God, she hugged me. <laughs> it's such a nice feeling, like in my heart. It really does make me feel good, even though sometimes I'll get like a little annoyed or like I'll feel like overwhelmed. This kind of fame is not what drives her to keep flipping. Seven and one, two and three and four. I love like performing and I love just doing my best and being with my team and like making memories out of it. And she has a lot of them. She has been cheering since she was eight. Because of her extraordinary flexibility, this Florida girl was recruited by one of the most elite teams in the country, based in California. Gabby is completely addicted to cheer, and she loves it from her soul. It's like her oxygen. To further Gabby's cheer dreams, her mother made a difficult decision to split up the family, moving across the country, leaving her husband and two other children behind. Living away from my husband and my children is extremely hard. We're a very tight-knit family, so it's basically taking our hearts and putting them on the other side of the country. I think it's so funny how you guys all hate doing your hair. Well, I like it for competition. Their home away from home has become an accidental cheer house. Debbie is den mom to a handful of teenagers at any given time. It became like the Grand Central Station home. Here, they eat, breathe, and sleep cheer. But it's pretty tight quarters. They're all forced to get very close. Sometimes Debbie even has to sleep on the couch. I'm just a mom. I'm not a cheer mom. I'm a mom who loves her kids above and beyond, and I will do whatever they want. We need to finish this list. In okay, order so to raise a star like Gabby, so she must manage every last detail of her daughter's life. You need lashes, right? I'm completely stressed out now because... From what to pack... I have everything everywhere. I don't work. This is my job. To the color of her nails. Let me see. Just a little more. Because they tumble. Do you know what tumbling is? If it was up to me, cheerleading would just be like slick back ponytail with natural makeup. Unfortunately for Gabby and her mom, cheer involves a lot of primping. Gabby, I need Can you to Can you not, like, touch my face? Gabby, seriously, my back is out, you know this. And if I have to move your head one more time, I'm not going to do it anymore. I can honestly say that I have fought more with my children than anything over here. Let me push it forward. No, no, no. <coughs> okay. And it's taken more than just an emotional toll. How much money would you say over the years you've spent on, on supporting your daughters in cheer? We're definitely in the hundreds of thousands for the three girls in the last eight years. A lot of this money is spent on traveling to competitions. Luckily, though, for this cheer family that's split across the country, it's a perfect excuse for a reunion. I'm seeing my dad and my sister for the first time, and I'm really excited. I haven't seen them in, like, forever. It's, it's very much about being together as a family and, and enjoying the time and just kind of supporting each other. We do make a big sacrifice, but, like, we're doing it because we love it. <laughs> Gabby is getting made up yet again. This time for a photo shoot where she meets up with fellow cheer celebrity Carly. Oh my yes! I've always wanted to meet her. I know, I've always wanted to meet you too. Just never came around. Like real celebrities, they too can be casualties of their own fame. People do definitely see things on Instagram and Twitter and jump to conclusions really fast and then that comes with stories and rumors and things like that. Carly and her boyfriend Matt are the reigning cheer couple online with a dozen sites devoted to their relationship. That makes me feel so, that makes me feel so bad for celebrities, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I used to look at those magazines and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she did that until yeah. I was in this situation where I was under a little microscope. But they are still kids, exposed to the danger that can come with this kind of attention. So when you read comments that people say, get in my bed. Yeah, that's a little like over the edge. Does it bother you that there's so much sexualization of the sport? Cheerleading is one of the most like sexual sports, I think, because you know, you have cheerleaders walking around in half tops with their stomachs showing. We don't dress that way for attention. We dress that way because that's what we, that's our wardrobe. I love him being a cheerleader. Mom, don't say that word. Michael Eddy is also a budding cheerleader. 
but he's not your typical cheerleader. He's a football player, but yeah, he was better than the high school cheerleaders that were cheering for him. <laughs> I've done so many sports, and this is the hardest sport that I've ever done. He actually turned to cheer because of football. I wanted to learn how to do a backflip if I ever scored a touchdown. Football, it's like a brotherhood. But cheer is just, you know, it's performing. It's going in front of a crowd and feeling like a rock star for two minutes and 30 seconds. Being a male cheerleader has its challenges. At first, I didn't want anyone to know I was a cheerleader. I was scared to get made fun of. I didn't want to be like that kid who was denying something. And so I decided, I was like, okay, if anyone asks me, I'm going to own up to it. Michael Eddy's family had little trouble accepting his decision because they were already a cheer family. His sister was in part his inspiration. I thought cheerleading was a thing that girls did. But once my son was involved, I saw the conditioning that they had in this cheer program. I developed a lot of respect for cheer. Now at 19, Michael Eddy is about to age out of his team. So the upcoming world championships are his final hurrah. I got a third consecutive world title I want to win. I got to be a good leader on my team. So let's go to in and out Come on, everyone's coming. I don't really want to be distracted right now. But this is my last year. I want to make it solid. For Gabby and Michael Eddy, it's their last chance to practice at home before they have to defend their world title. Do you guys want to end? Do you want to hit? Do you want to feel confident? But they're not looking like the champions they are known to be. This already should be perfect. There's no reason why stuff is falling. Three, hit, hold, good, one. After three mistakes, Coach Eddy has had enough. Three, four mistakes in one section is not acceptable. They're running into the alley so they can cool off a little bit, so I can cool off a little bit as well. It's definitely punishment. <laughs> Hopefully we won't do that. Next, training time is over as the day that counts is finally here. Oh my gosh, it's stressful. Everything is on the line, but what if things go wrong? Right now is basically do or die. We're back now as our cheer celebrities get ready for the ultimate competition. Training time is over as the day that counts is finally here. No more time for practice and definitely no more time for mistakes. For those seeking scholarships, it's do or die. But everybody's hungry for gold and there can only be one winner. Here again is ABC's Bianca Goladriga. After a year of training and thousands of miles of travel, the World Championships are finally here. Yeah, we've been traveling for almost eight hours today and haven't, still haven't slept. This is their last practice before they all take the floor. I'm really glad we're having this like last practice so that we can like make sure that we're really confident for going into World. <laughs> Flying through their routines with perfection, they are on a high. Three, two, five, hit! Praying for victory tomorrow. The morning of the finals, the Butler family is off to a rough start. The one you need the one like that? Yes. Is what you're telling me? Yes. It is very much chaos right now. She's hungry. She's tired. Or stressed. There's so much to do. They got to have their hair, their makeup done, and it's you know it's a project. You wouldn't realize that there's actual like an actual art to doing this. You look beautiful already. This is the biggest competition of the year. They've trained all year for this. Can you just fold it over and not make it that big? Hey, that's it. Please. That's the job of a cheer dad, is to try to keep the sanity in the midst of all the chaos. What time is it? Wildcats will meet in one hour. I'm more excited than nervous, I think. I'm just ready to go. I'm just nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm just like, ever since I woke up this morning, I just have butterflies. With his team waiting, Michael Eddy is suddenly in crisis mode. He can't find his credentials. Without it, he can't compete. What'd you forget? Are you really go. I don't have my, my thing to get in. Are you kidding me right now? Just wait five minutes. I'm not coming back to snow it anymore. I'm not going to get to defend a title for a four-peat. Like seven years all comes down to today. Oh my gosh, it's stressful. 
Carly has nerves of steel. The pressure never seems to shake her. I'm thinking about the routine. I'm thinking about what I need to do to be my best today. All the work these families have put in is on the line. Your adrenaline is rushing and your anxiety and your heart's about to pop out of your chest and you feel like you're going to vomit and hoping and praying for them that they can handle the heat. The best of the best are all here. People are always saying like, you guys are going to take a three-peat, you guys are going to take a three-peat, you know, constantly. It's like, oh my gosh, stop saying that. We're so superstitious. Soon enough, Michael, Eddie, and Gabby take the floor. We're not holding anything back. We're going to fight to the very end. No matter what happens, like, we will fight. And they do. They nail their routine. Up next, Carly's team, the Wildcats. They're competing in a different division. Today, I just want to go out there and just kill it. For Carly, Michael, Eddie, and Gabby, the years of hard work pay off. Both teams win gold. The high of victory is short-lived. For these athletes, cheer is everything. Gabby is deciding whether to keep living apart from her family. It's a possibility that I won't go back, but at the same time, it's a possibility that I will. It's kind of like a 50-50. She's going back, I'll tell you that. She said the same exact thing last year, and look at what happened, she's back again. Michael Eddy is grappling with aging out. It's an addiction. You're away from it, you miss it. I just want to work my butt off, like for a championship or for something greater than myself. I'm addicted to cheerleading. It's something I'm going to want to do until I'm too old to do it. I think I want to do it till my body breaks. For Nightline, I'm Bianca Goladriga in Dallas, Texas.